Hello Aries and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at the cards, the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. Guidance for Aries, please Spirit. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave what doesn't resonate. And be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. So let's take a look at your first card. There is a new start coming, which I feel is very exciting for you, Aries, is the new moon, the new moon energy. So the energy around the new moon coming up this month is going to be very powerful for you. You might start to see a new beginning or a new start around this time. There is a very positive energy with this new start, and I feel it's something you have been perhaps waiting for because of the excitement that is there so it's something that you're looking forward to so this is a really great energy uh, for the week to come beautiful let's take a look at this deck please spirit and I feel this one here is your card so let's take a look at the message here be brave be silly be your own magic be present be full of surprises be adventurous, be kind, be free, be you. I love it. And the musing is because there's no one better to be. Beautiful. And the affirmation, I am confident, content and happy to be me. So this week, just all about being confident in your own skin. Whatever you're doing, Aries, go about it with confidence because you're awesome. You're awesome with what you're doing and others are going to be seeing that as well and there is an energy here of you being very forward and very open with someone i do feel there may be some important communication happening between you and someone that you're wanting to connect with or reconnect with so there may be a very surprising uh, reconnection or reconciliation that takes place this week the energy is very supportive of that so just keep that in mind, especially if you have been, um, if there's been some tension around a particular relationship. And with this card here, the connection I'm seeing is that spirit saying, just be you, don't be fake, don't be, um, don't be shy, don't be backward in, go in coming forward um, with this person. Just be forthright, just be open. And it looks like there's going to be room for a very positive conversation. And maybe even a reconciliation and maybe a new start here. Yes, so that's very interesting. So let's take a look at this deck here now, please, Spirit for Aries. Let's see, this one here is your card. Let's see what it says. Passion. So definitely if there's love and romance that you're wanting to ignite or start in your life, Aries, that is right here with passion. Now, it doesn't have to be love. Of course, it might be another area of life where you're just feeling very passionate about it. You might have a passion that you have stirring within you, maybe for an interest or a hobby, or perhaps it's in your work life. You'll know what spirit is talking about here for you if this resonates. So there's definitely passion being stirred this week and it's connected into a new beginning. So that is very powerful and, and really awesome energy, Aries. You might just feel very invigorated throughout the week you might find that you have more energy and you're just um, able to concentrate on the things that just need to get done this week you have passion for the everyday things in your life uh, that may have been lacking enthusiasm uh, recently so that's so that I'm also receiving that message okay this one here is your card it's a physical health card I give myself the gift of deep and restful sleep every night. So be really careful with your sleep habits and make sure that you are getting enough sleep. It is only going to serve you well, Aries. Give yourself the gift of deep and restful sleep. Very important. Guidance for Aries with this deck of cards, please, spirit. 
Let's see. Nine in several Aries. Let's start with this card here. It is the moon card. You may have a Pisces around you that's significant in some way. I'm seeing that you're going to be meeting up with some friends, maybe two or three this week. I feel that they are loyal. I feel that they may be on the same path as you spiritually, or there's just a, um, a connection here that you have that feels that it feels like a spiritual connection that you have with these people. Um, the moon can indicate that there's a, a very strong psychic energy around you. So I do sense that this week is going to be highly um, intense when it comes to your psychic development or intuitions or abilities. So Aries, keep a look out for that. And also um, the moon energy here with the new moon um, coming up soon for you uh, this month. I do feel that's important as well. It's coming through again. So this month, the new moon, it looks like there is some significant changes happening um, and a new start or a new beginning, something like that is on the way. So just keep a look out for that. The five of wands energy. So this, the fives, the fives can indicate that there is tumultuous energy around a relationship. And if that's the case, I'm seeing that you're holding your ground here. You can see this dragon um, breathing fire on you or trying to, but you're you're warding it off. So any any adversary, any person or situation that you may be feeling. Um, threatened by or that there is negative energy being thrown at you in whatever circumstance you're going to be able to hold your ground you're going to be able to um, win the battle here and and with the moon you're going to have the intuitions and the insights as to how you're going to go about doing that so you make the best choices for you when it comes to this standoff, when it comes to this tumultuous energy in a relationship, you're going to make the best decision and the best choice um, to protect yourself. And the Four of Cups. Okay, so the Four of Cups can indicate that there is something missing. So it can indicate boredom or um, that you're thinking something is not really aligning with you. So if that's the case, Aries, something isn't aligning with you, you're just feeling quite bored or you're feeling that there is apathy um, towards something. And Spirit is saying because it's touching on passion and a new start that you're going to reignite a passion here because the Four of Cups is the opposite of passion. There is no passion with the Four of Cups. You're feeling bored. You're feeling apathy. You're not feeling engaged. But with passion here, Spirit is saying it's so important that you focus on what makes you passionate this week. What are you passionate about? And it is connected into a new start. So there is a new start coming in. And so I feel that if, you, um, if you're in this energy throughout the week where you're just feeling like something is not aligning and you're just... It feels old. It just feels like it's not right for you anymore. I just know when you start is coming and that passion will and aliveness and engagement will start to unfold and take place in your life. So I feel that that is on the way and I feel that's why these these cards are connecting here for you. So we have the tower. So Aries, the tower energy is something very dramatic that has happened recently or, or is going to happen this week. Something very sudden, something very dramatic. And it can seem at the time that it is something that is not positive. But the, the thing to note with the tower is that it is um, divinely guided. OK, so whatever this is, however this happens, whatever circumstances are around it, know that it is divinely guided and that whatever this tower is, um, a relationship, something going on in a relationship, perhaps, or it may be in the workplace or another area of life where something dramatic, sudden happens 
Um, just know that it's divinely guided and that ultimately the end result is going to be um, more wisdom for you and positivity for you. You will find that new doors open for you. You will find that there is a positive, um, a very positive aspect to it, even though at the time it might not seem like it. So for example, this could be an argument with someone that comes out of the blue that's very sudden. And of course, it's not very pleasant at the time, but then you realize something, you have a revelation, you have an awareness after the fact, and it helps heal a relationship for example, it, you have that understanding after this. So there's something positive that definitely is going to come out of whatever this tower is for you, whether it's happened recently or whether it's happening this week. So let's take a look at your next card here. We have the Knight of Swords. OK, so the Knight of Swords is about being very um, analytical and very direct with your communication. And I was picking up that there is um a reconciliation, a connection, a union that's going to happen this week. Perhaps you hear word from someone that you're waiting on. And I feel that you're very, uh, very focused. You have a clear intention about what you want, what you want to achieve. And you're going to communicate that very clearly uh, with someone. And so that's what this Knight of Swords is for you this week, Aries. You're going to be very on point, very direct, and you're not afraid to go into battle with someone or about something this week. You really are not. You are not holding back. You are charging ahead. And it, and it does tie in really well with being confident and knowing that uh, you are confident and content and just happy to be you and where you're at in life and in this situation. So to make sure you have enough energy for this, it's so important that you get enough sleep. I feel that's why it's connected in here to give yourself the gift of sleep because this, this takes a lot of energy. This takes a lot of energy. So make sure that you look after your health and especially your sleep this week. So I'm seeing some really powerful energies coming through here with this read. Now I'm seeing with this line across here, Aries, that we have um, passion and we have the five of wands. So this energy is um, um, it's very fiery. So you are getting very passionate and stirred up about something. And it's connected in here to sleep as well. So I feel a lot is going on um, energy wise with you this week. You might find yourself very busy. You might find that there's expenditure emotionally or mentally. Um, so it's really important that you take care of yourself. Now, this line up here, we have the new moon, a new start is coming, the tower and be confident. So a new start is going to happen, but a new start and a fresh beginning um, won't have the opportunity to start unless this tower event happens. So that's where that uh, positivity is going to come in because it's going to usher in a new beginning for you. When there's a breakdown or a discord or something very sudden happening, um, it means that there it allows space for the newness to come in. And of course, there's confidence in yourself going through this situation. So Aries, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. If you did enjoy the reading, you can click the like button or subscribe to the channel. I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel. Have a fantastic week, Aries, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.